a robot that understands natural language, makes decisions on its own, and performs tasks with millimeter precision. It's already impressive. But uh, now, imagine this robot being able to learn from simple demonstrations and still decide the best path to take when the environment suddenly changes. What Google is about to launch could transform everything from industry to even the way we handle household tasks. Are we ready to give this level of autonomy to a machine? And what if this advancement is about to directly impact the job market and people's safety at home? Look, I know it's annoying to keep asking this, but if I don't ask, no one. So here we go. If you don't click like, don't subscribe now, I will program a robot to chase you and force you to watch Excel plugin tutorials on loop. That's it, the choice is in your hand. Have you subscribed yet? Have you hit the like button? So here we go. Have you ever seen a robot fold paper by itself without being specifically programmed to do so? Well, what Google presented with Gemini Robotics seems like something out of that movie. R. But with arms and sense, in fact, I'm recommending it here. Search for the movie Her on Google and you'll fall in love. We are starting to see robots that truly understand the world around them and can act autonomous. In the movie, it's that guy who played the Joker with the woman who played Black Widow. And Black Widow, Scarlett Johansson, she is an artificial intelligence that ends up making the Joker fall in love with her. I forgot the name. From the, uh, do do do. It's already, it's already. Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix falls in love with Scarlett Johansson. Watch this movie, which is what's happening now in reality. But let's go. Hold on. There's a lot coming up. To start, you already know, comment below. If you would let a robot with its own artificial intelligence make decisions on its own inside your house, even knowing that it learns by observing everything around it. Would you trust it in your home with your children or have you not reached that point yet? Comment below, let's talk. In March 2025, Google DeepMind unveiled Gemini Robot. This system uses a combination of vision, language, and action. In other words, it sees with cameras, understands spoken commands and turns that into physical movements. But unlike the old systems, it doesn't just respond with code or text, it actually moves, makes things happen. And believe it, it has already shown results that change the way we look at automation. Gemini Robotics was built on the foundation of Gemini 2.0, which was already known for understanding tech, images, videos and sounds in a very advanced way. But until then, this understanding was entirely digital. But not anymore. With this new version, the robot can use all of this to interact with the physical world. This means, for example, that it can fold a sheet of paper or store a snack in a zippered bag, even if it has never done before. The sibling model, called Gemini Robotics IR, goes much deeper. It has a much more refined type of spatial reasoning. It can understand where objects are in space, predict movements, plan trajectories, as if giving the robot a type of bodily intelligence capable of adapting movements as the environment changes. This ability is what many systems lack today, which still freeze when something goes off pattern. Imagine placing a robot in different homes with different decorations, different sizes, different kitchen. The objects are different. Sometimes there's a dog, sometimes there's a cat, sometimes there are two children. So the robot has to analyze different environments. In fact, this is the big differentiator. While industrial robots need to be programmed in every detail, Gemini generalizes. It doubles the performance of previous models in tests that simulate unknown tasks. And there's more. If something changes in the environment, it reassesses and remakes the plan. An example, you ask it to store boxes on a shelf, but someone changes the position of one of them. Gemini notices this and adapts. Other things that draw attention, are the set of integrate. The Gemini robot seer performs unom all the necessary steps for the robot to function in the real world. Perception, estimation of the state of object, understanding of space, planning, and even code generation, all in a single system. This greatly facilitates the work of those who develop these robots because it eliminates the dependency on various different modules. These models were also designed to be used in real and varied context. One of the main ideas is that it works. Well, even when something unexpected happens. This includes situations like changes in the weight of an object, alterations in the path to the destination, or external interferences. In these cases, the system reassesses everything in real time and continues executing the task without the need for reprogramming. Moreover, the Gemini Robotics e VR can handle spoken instructions in a very natural way. You can ask it, for example, to move 
boxes from a table to a shelf, and keep a red box on the floor. It easily understands these complex instructions using the language capabilities of Gemini 2.0. This makes it more useful in environments like mom homes or workplace, where communication does not follow a rigid pattern. Another interesting detail is the ability to learn by demonstration. If a task is too difficult for it to perform at first, just show it a few times how to do it. From these few demonstrations, Sordi, it understands the pattern and applies the same logic in other similar contexts. This greatly expands the potential for use in companies that need flexible and adaptable solutions in their daily operations. To bring this system to the real world, Google announced a partnership with Up Uptronic, a company specialized in humanoid robot. They are using the Apollo robot model, and it doesn't stop there. Other major companies like Boston Dynamics, Okiezia, okay, Agile Robots, and Ancient Tools are also testing Gemini. This type of initiative can greatly accelerate the arrival of robots in our daily lives. And who knows, maybe a cheap and accessible robot for us to buy? Comment below. If money were not an issue, would you have one of these at home? Comment below, let's chat. Google is also developing a set of rules called the uh, robotic concept. The idea is that these natural language guidelines help models avoid dangerous or unethical action. Additionally, they created a data set called Asimov, inspired by the classic laws of robotics for to test if the robots are indeed following these guidelines. It's those laws of robotics from that movie I, Robot with Will Smith, which also has a literary work. Watch this movie, it's fantastic. All of this is part of the effort to ensure that technology is used responsibly. This is where my monetization, mentorship comes in. Master of Artificial Intelligence. I teach how to turn this oh, type of technology into a, a real source of income. It doesn't matter if you have a physical or digital business. Uh, the goal is to use artificial intelligence as a lever to scale your business. There are already many people earning with automations, content creation, bots, consulting, agents, and it all starts by learning to master this universe of artificial intelligence. If you want to join this journey with me, the link is in the video description and pinned in the first comment. Returning to Gemini, the model also impresses with its delicacy. Handling fragile objects, folding a paper with precision, closing a bag, or even generating a doorknob. These are tasks that seem simple to us, but extremely complicated for robots. This system can do all of these with a fine level of control. The robotic arms have demonstrated in practice that they can be trusted with detailed tasks. While Gemini Robotics executes, the IR acts as the brain behind the spatial intelligence. It locates objects in 3D, decides the best way to hold them, calculates the safe route, and goes for it. Imagine the robot picking up a mug by the handle without dropping or breaking. This type of decision requires a lot of analysis, and now it can happen in real time. Now, imagine you talking to a robot as if it were a person. Ask it to pick up a box and place it in the corner. It understands, executes, and if something goes wrong along the way, it adapts. No need for programming language, but but if you're more technical, you can still adjust the codes that the model itself generates. Show an example of how something was done and it repeats that style of execution in similar situations. Those who closely follow the world of robots know that this could be the next big leap. The first applications with the Gemini models are already happening. The expectation is that soon we will see robots that are more useful, safe and easy to use in daily life. And who knows, more affordable and the best part, it's no longer a distant promise. It's something that's truly becoming a reality. This video doesn't end now, it continues with us chatting in the comments, so leave your opinion. Would you have one of these robots? Would you leave it in your house? Would you let it take care of your children? Comment below, and if you find this video interesting, like, share, and hit the subscribe button on the channel.